Hi, I'm Noah Solomon with the Red Carpet Report here in sunny Albuquerque, New Mexico, hosting the Focus on New Mexico Filmmaker Spotlight. Hi. How are you guys doing today? Well, how are you? I'm excited to be here. How about you? Excited Very to get happy out of to the be house, here. Yeah, yeah happy Honestly, to dress right? up. <laughs> the best feeling. So tell me a little bit more about permafrost. You know, the long list is a, it's 11 generations into the future. What came up with that concept? Where did you get that one? So the 11 generations, they're kind of measuring their time not by normal calendars or anything because literacy is gone. So they mm -hmm. can't read or understand how much time has passed other than it's just been so many people have died since the frost. And so the generations is more that form of time telling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's um, projecting into the future after climate change has changed the earth so much that most of civilization has been sort of erased. So, cool. so this was filmed in North Dakota, correct? It was. <laughs> was it during the actual winter in North Dakota? It was. It was. It was December. <laughs> it was very cold. <laughs> What's your most memorable day from that? Oh, definitely the travel day. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we, uh, we drove almost up to the Canadian border to get that cool drone shot mm -hmm. in the film. Following and a blizzard. Yeah, like, we were following. In and out following... of blizzard following us up to the north, so that was great. Yeah, it was, it was a miracle that nobody got in an accident. Uh, we found out the day after that one of our drivers had very bald tires on his car at the time. So, yeah, <laughs> we, were, we were lucky that we made it, but it was... Oh, Gentry got to push a car out oh, in yeah. the snow, too. All yeah. by himself, he felt very masculine. Good things to do, <laughs> just pushing that car out. Cool. Tell me a little bit more about your characters. What was the most uh, what was the most interesting part or memorable part from your characters that you actually did? Well, that's you. You're well, yeah, I suppose I am the actor. <laughs> <laughs> um, I very much liked doing the scenes with uh, my co-star Megan. Um, all of the actors are great, but our scenes were very intimate, um, very personal, and um, it brings a little bit of warmth to the film. And doing those scenes and kind of improv a little bit really felt, really felt good. What would you say was, was the most difficult part of the shoot? Was it the cold, or was it being outside, or was it actually something else? It was sound, actually. Sound um, was our greatest struggle, really? for sure. You have to bring a generator out there. Yeah. And those <laughs> things make a lot of noise out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. When there's no trees, no nothing, just snow. Plus the actors wearing the masks and needing to pick up their voices clearly through those masks. Yep. So I did a lot wind. of... Yeah. yeah, it was... We did a lot of uh, on-the-fly set construction, boarding up windows and building snow piles mm -hmm. so that you couldn't hear the, the, the generator, generator as much. What was your experience leading up to getting cast for the movie? Were you approached? Did you audition? How did that go about? <laughs> I can talk about that a little yeah. bit. Um, I, I directed the film. Um, Gentry and I created the idea together. Um, we both are originally from North Dakota, and we go up there every winter, and we thought, why not make a movie? Um, so when we were thinking about characters, uh, we actually didn't really have anyone in particular in mind or any gender or any racial background or anything for our characters. We just cast the actors who embodied like the spirit of the character the most. And um, with Gentry's character, we sort of just by default kind of had him in the back of our minds while we were creating that character. And so we did audition for that role. but you know, Gentry just fit it, and it was easy for him to hop in, and you know, he and Megan, our other lead, um, had a history of acting together, too, so they, it just made sense to cast them to bounce off of each other and improv together and all of that. Are you having, are you having to work on any other projects right now? Is something that might also take place in the winter in North Dakota? <laughs> stay away from that for now? We'll take a break from the winters in North Dakota yeah. for a bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, right now we're co-producing a music video for uh, another company, and then after that, uh, Dispatch, right? yeah, we're looking at hopefully filming in August our next short film, which is a thriller. That sounds intriguing. Yeah. Is there anything else, like to, anything else you'd like to add? Any final thoughts? Anything at all? Oh, just go NM Film, man. I'm happy to be back. It's Absolutely. been a long year. <laughs> Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much. Thank Good you. to meet you. Thanks for tuning in. If you like what you saw, hit that like button, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Tell us what your favorite film shot in New Mexico was. This is the Red Copper Report. Stay safe and keep moving forward.